There is only one thing which can bring that universe into existence and that is immaterial being. Because if it is material, it's part of the universe and had a beginning in itself. A god is from a man-made, from man-made things. The earth is here for a reason. We're all here for a reason and we're not all here to follow something we can't see. If I stick to your logic and say, unless you see something, you can never believe, blind people cannot believe in anything. You do think about other things. The greatest thing God thinks about is His love for His human beings. He looks at you and He doesn't think about sex. He looks at you and He thinks, How am I going to save this man? This man has been rebelling until today. How do I save him? Is how God would think. People who have given up on all sorts of good things. Then, How will he save me then? Precisely by sending me here. <laughs> tell you, you sir, me? there is much more to life than me. just sex. Save. I didn't say it was just I about sex. Really I'm just saying that, that men think about it a lot. The moment I speak about Jesus, the moment I speak about the historicity of Jesus, you are asking me if Jesus was a homosexual. Yes. I want to know. He spent a lot of time with a lot of men. And there are, there are plays about his... His activities with men, and I was, was he or was he a homosexual? Jesus had both male friends and female friends, both, both, and, and, excuse me, and, and he knows what friendship is. Friendship to God is not just having sex. No. You were just. No, I was asking you going back to the most serious things, my dear friends. So what I've told you, so the lady, so the lady here suggested she gives none fucks were given today. The lady here suggested that Jesus, or following Jesus, is blind faith, and I responded to her by saying, according to you, I responded to you, I responded to you by saying. Faith. How can you say it's not? That you've never seen the person. person. You've never seen the person. From where? Where are you faith. reading the passage from? You yeah. have to believe in something that you can't you are see. Repeating. Then that is blind faith. It doesn't matter how you look at it. If you can't see it, it's blind faith. You <laughs> lie if you say any different. I use the term blind faith. The blind in the blind faith. It's blind in a. Faith. Oh, in the Bible it says you can't look upon him. He's too bright. He's too powerful. You wouldn't be able to look on him. To look on him is to kill him. So, you have blind faith because you couldn't look on it if you wanted to. So, as it says, it's a term blind. <coughs> and, it, and it tells you in this. It's a story. The, term, the term blind faith, the term blind faith is not defined in a very narrow way in which you are using that. The term blind faith isn't just about blindness, the physical eyes, blindness, no. The term, the term, the term blind faith, the term blind faith dynamically means when you believe in something for which you do not have a reason that's what it means when you do now as human beings where did you get your reason from as human beings we have as human beings we have where do you learn your religious belief as human beings we have plenty of senses seeing being able to see vision is one sense Hearing is another sense. Feeling, touching is another sense. So there are plenty of different ways in which human beings who care get to know information from their environment. Now, my sense, now I have heard God speak in my life. What? What did he say? What did he talk about? What did he talk about? He told me that he was pleased with me as his son. What sin was that? Should I tell you? Yes, sure. Should I give you a list now? It'll be a very long list. Do you care? All sorts. Well, all sorts. Let's start at the top. What was the most serious sin? 
phone. He's spoken on the phone. What's he talking about? Have you seen it? Let me ask you something, my dear friend. Blind people, can they believe in anything at all? Blind people. Well, how can you believe in God if you have no reason to believe in God? Question if you haven't simple. seen him. Question yeah. is simple. If I stick to your logic yeah. and say, unless you see something, you can science. never believe, blind people science. cannot believe in anything. I believe no, in no, science. No, no, no. So, I, believe I am in a scientist myself. Okay, what's your what speciality? Science. Tell me a few things about science. Big Bang Theory. Science. Big Bang Theory. Tell me a few things about Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory basically Big ben. exploded and two rock things. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm, not a science. Science. I'm not a scientist. No, but I thought you said you believe in science. No, she's going in the army. She's <laughs> going to be a fighter. That's right. Yeah. Leave the army we all meet. But the question is, what you don't know, you don't know. What you do not know, you can't believe in. Can you? So how do you know that God exists? Big Bang, which you say you believe in. How I can never, you? I never said I believe in the Big Bang. I mentioned the Lady said the Big she Bang. believes in science. Yes. But I never said about any star. You were thinking about your honor. Do you believe in science? I believe that everything on the earth has needs. The earth needs everything it has to make it all work together. Evolution. A God is from the We can man made. For man-made things, the earth is here for a reason. We're Science. all here for a reason, and we're not all here to follow something we can't see. God's just we're all there. here to control We're us. all here to help each other, to love each other, and to make each yes. other a team stuff. Love. It's nothing love to do with a God. You you seem to all the people that believe in a God are going to keep fighting, they're going to keep killing each other, yeah. and nothing's ever going to change until you all stop this and all come together as spiritual people. And Question. that is all there is to it. Question. That is all there is to it. Question. Big bang. Question. Scientifically, today we do know that all of known universe had a beginning. This is scientifically established through what is called background radiation. Observed, observed yes. background. It's only guesstimates. What? Everything is a guesstimate. Yeah, it's not it's no excuse me, no facts. There's no facts on any of it. Do you know about? Do you know? Do you do you know about what we call microwave background radiation? Do you know or don't you know? What is that? What is that? The question is simple. Do you know about the science which you are talking about? Microwave background radiation. Do you know about that or not? Microwave background radiation. I'll tell you what it does if you wait and listen. So today, today we observe in the universe that there are such things called microwave background radiation. Now, and that is a very important scientific observation. Don't want to listen, do you? Microwave. Microwave background radiation is a very important scientific observation that we have today to communicate to all of us through science that the universe had a beginning. So we know through science universe had a beginning. Question is, if all of known universe had a beginning, what caused the universe to come into existence? Now, you can tell me if you don't know, just tell me that you don't know. But don't tell me. You know the answers to all this, answer. If you wait and listen, yes. If you wait and listen. If all of universe had a beginning, if all of universe had a beginning, there is only one thing which can bring that universe into existence, and that is immaterial being. Because if it is material, it's part of the universe and had a beginning in itself. So the point, my dear friends, my point, my dear friends, when you do not know science, don't walk around thinking you know plenty of science. Because then you are fooling yourself. You are fooling yourself. Don't fool yourself. 
What I am saying is it's science. No about it, science. No what I am saying is the science. So what had nothing to do with it then? What, what had nothing to do with it if it's all radio waves? What I'm telling you right now is that you don't wait to listen. I don't know how to listen. Well, you, you repeated. I spent 30 minutes listening to you. You repeated the same point three or four times just now. So the point to you, my dear friend, what I was. No, I'm not talking about any microwave. I am talking about microwave background radiation in the universe. Microwave background radiation communicates to us. Well, this is the problem. The people who do not know science go around thinking that they believe in science and based on science they have rejected God. The very problem is who is going around doing this? People who do not know science. May I please commend to you? Now you don't know need to. I'm not suggesting that you need to know science. But what I'm suggesting is, if on the basis of science you believe something, if on the basis of science you uh, come to a conclusion, then you better know on what basis you are coming to a conclusion. Because the science is God. What? Is that what you're saying? Science makes God. That's not what, what I said. What I said was, science gives us details for us to say the universe had a beginning. Yes. Uh, and if the universe that. is all Why material is existence, and if it had a beginning, the only thing which brought the universe to beginning is an immaterial thing, immaterial being. Now, where the animals come from? You need immaterial things for material things to come into existence if all of material things are a big thing point number one point number two if something has to be brought into existence and nothing material existed before that someone had to think through to bring that into existence in other words in other words the immaterial thing which brought the universe into existence necessarily has to be a sentient being. Definitely. Necessarily has to be a uh, being which can think. My dear friend, if we carry on with that logic, what you would come to is that scientifically speaking, there is only one plausible explanation for the existence of universe, and that is God. God. I don't know. The only how was God here? I, well, I, I find that this is too good to be honest. If you have a point of view, I'll completely understand it, and I'm willing to debate about it. You should, you should, you should understand their point of view. You're just preaching. You're not giving people the chance to argue. I, in some parts, I do agree with you, but I don't like the way you are about it. Your agreement there. But we are, we are. You are. The no, no, question is, did I ask? I'm not telling you. You just want to say what you have, right? Which is what I mean when I said I'm telling Perfect. you. You just want to prove your point. Okay, then give him my mic and let just shout when out. When she okay. doesn't know science. Thank you very much. Do you know what I mean? Thank you very much. If you, much. Nice. If you guys want to be by it, we, we can still be there by it without him. God's <laughs> blessings. Good to see you. <laughs> so I the challenge. Listen. Science doesn't tell you anything the people, about the big people that are here that are debating with you. You're not giving them a point. Or you're not giving them any way for them to talk to you. What you're just saying is, one, two, three, this is that, this is that, and that's it. Thank you, bye. How is that constructive? Did I say thank you? Did I say boy? <laughs> Perception of it. Extra, extra. You know what I mean? So, I'm you're the still standing here. Did I say bye to you? No, I know. But at the end of the day, this is what you're doing. You're just preaching. Excuse this me, man sir. Are you, an expert? You. You are, you, are you an expert in public speech? No. Are you the uh, ultimate arbitrator when it comes to public speech? Did I say I was? What? Did I say I was? Okay, well, you seem to suggest uh, uh, what anyone else is doing. Who agrees? <laughs> wait, wait. When I did not say thank you, when I did not say bye, you seem to suggest I did the both. So now coming back to what we're talking about. Now, I am going to comment to you today that Jesus of the Bible is historical. What do you think, sir? Historical? Well, I did, he, he did actually exist in history. As exactly how the Gospels portray. Well, I don't know specifically, but I do believe that Jesus did exist and his name was Isa and he was a prophet. And that, that much of it, I do believe. Is the term Isa a Hebrew term? 
I think it is. Yes. It isn't. Jesus in Hebrew is Yeshua. In Arabic, it's Isa. Yeah, is Isa an Arabic word? Yes. Are you sure? Excuse me. Isa is an Aramaic term. It comes from Syria, not Arabic. So what does Isa mean in Arabic? Syria is an Arabic country. Syria is an Arabic country? They switched to Arabic countries. Excuse me. Excuse me. Syria is an Arabic country? Then why is it? Did you know? Oh, a Syrian Arab Republic, that's what it's called. But today, yes. But did you know? It always has been. It's been the Sham, it was Syria, wow, wow, Lebanon, wow, wow. Palestine. Do you know about the language called Aramaic? Arab originated from Yemen. No, no, we question. Don't that. Do you know the language called Aramaic? Yes, sir. Yes. That was because How can Arabic. Aramaic be Arabic? Yeah, yeah. It and why, why is Aramaic in How Iran? can Aramaic. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Do you know English and French? Are the English speakers French or are they English? Are the French speakers French or are they English? Apply the same logic. You have Aramaic, you have Arabic. People who spoke Aramaic, were they Arameans or Arabics? Or Arabs? Arabs came from Yemen, so I suppose the Aramean was before, but Arabs were developed, so Arameans was Well done! So the nation, we can get to a conclusion. Well done. The way <laughs> nation called Aram, uh, the nation of uh, the nation which spoke the uh, the language Aramaic existed for a long, long time before Arabs were ever recorded in history. All right. The city called Damascus has a very long history, going back to up to, uh, at least the time of. Uh, the, uh, the the king called Hezael fighting against the kings of Israel. Okay. Kings of Aram, Aram, Aram were fighting against kings of Israel. This was a long time before Arabs were ever recorded in human history. I'm not saying that we were. And therefore, the time, Syria, yeah. Syria <laughs> historically not was not an Arabic country. Yeah, no, now, obviously. I'll come back to my Actually, previous. Arab uh, Syria. Somebody who lives in desert. So there is no such thing as Arab. Arab means the word Arab means you live in a desert. So okay, it's, so it's, it's like a Bedouin who lives in a desert. That's what the Arab means. So the Arab countries are not Arab countries, or just Bedouins, or what's the point? Every okay. every Middle Eastern and North African yeah. country today in is an invasion. In, in India, in India, in India, okay. in India, in India uh -huh. the common language that we have there is English. Perfect. If you speak English, you can get away anywhere in India. Does that mean India or English no. or Indians or English? No, we established that point 10 minutes ago. I Therefore, understand, yeah. Syria at the time was not Arabic. The term yeah, Isa does not have any meaning well, in Arabic. The term. How are we going to get to that point? Jesus, okay. Jesus has narrated in the Gospels. Yeah. Now let me go back to where we disagree. Okay, go on. Or where I think we may disagree. Probably. I think Jesus of history is exactly the Jesus that the Gospels in the Bible portray. Okay. No different to that. Okay. Someone who claimed himself to be God, someone who claimed as God in the form of human being on the face of the earth, uh -huh. and someone who came to save human beings, someone who predicted death, he knew he was going to be killed Simplified. and he ultimately gave up his life for you and for me. We that is die, yeah. the historical Jesus. Okay. Thankfully, after he was dead and buried, he also came back alive. And through that, we can be confident today that uh -huh. even when you die, even when I die, God, Jesus is able to bring us back to life. And therefore, we can confidently we, we, depend. We God and Jesus, or God Jesus. I haven't been listening so far. Then, I, I, Jesus I, I, of history clearly claimed himself to be God. Okay. They're not two different beings. I was just wondering. Jesus of history claimed himself to be God. Oh, and, so, he, and he came down a human. Became God. a human being to live on earth, to die for you, to die for me, but also defeated that and came back alive. Why would he want to die for him? Or oh, me? Why would he? Uh, I don't want him, Jesus to because die for Because you, because you and him and all of us here today who are human beings have descended from the one who he initially created, namely Adam. 
It's like this. Okay. For instance, if you are you a musician, do you like music? I like music very much. Do you create music, produce music? I try. To. You try to. When you do music on your own, uh -huh. would you like your music, or would you be proud I'm about proud, your work, yeah, of course. your creative work, yes. achievement? Yes, the sense of God's achievement. original achievement was Adam, someone who was made to look exactly like God. And you? Where's the evidence for that? How do you know that he's meant to look like God? Where, where does it say in the gospel that? The historical literature, namely Bereshit, the book of Genesis, tells us uh -huh. that God created the original man, Adam, according to God's own likeness. Okay. I just want to know. Yeah. All right. So, so, so you and him, being descendants of Adam, so I can God do thinks. I want here, but my sins that? are forgive, forgiven. So whatever, whatever sins I make in this world, it's going to be forgiven because Jesus died to That's me. That's not the plan. I, I'm just wondering. The plan is, uh -huh. Jesus gave up his life for you. Fair point. What Jesus wants from you is, my dear son, deny yourself. Deny yourself. Take up the cross. Follow me. Well, is what he says. But he's already given up his life. So what, why would that make a point? He gave up his life, but he also... Point, right? He gave up his life, but he also... I don't know what I'm supposed to have done wrong. For Jesus to die. Have I done anything wrong? Why would Are you a good man? Are you a good man? <laughs> I like to think I'm a good man. That's what exists. That's what exists. Whether I think he exists That's the biggest not, sin. If you deny your own creator, that's the biggest sin you've done. No, no, no. So that's the end of the story. How do you deny something that you haven't seen it? doesn't have anything to do with my belief. No, 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 no. My dear friend, if someone does you some good, yeah, if you ignore that person who did you some good, is that showing your gratefulness or gratitude? Well, no, but why was the good done to me? Your life comes from God. The moment you deny the existence of God, you are showing the worst possible Denial of my gratitude. Life, my life came from my parents. Really? That's Your parents, do they know how to give life? Well, if they didn't have sex, I wouldn't be here. Now, they might have known how to have sex, but do they know how to give life? What do you mean give life? They gave, uh, my mother gave me life by, by me coming out of a womb. That's pretty much like saying, I, I put my put my feet foot on the accelerator and therefore I made the car. I can press the accelerator and therefore I made the car. That's your logic. Your parents know how to have sex. But the fact of procreation as a result of having sex was a construct of God, not your parents. Let, let me just explain something. Just like just, how you can press your foot on the accelerator without even knowing how accelerator functions. Yet, you can move your car. Similarly, your parents can have sex and the system that God has put in place, which is have sex and then sperm uh, goes and fertilizes an ovum and produces new life. That is from God. God gave you life. That's from my parents' parents. And my parents' parents before this. Do you know where you're going if you don't know where you come from? I came from my parents. No, no, your parents. We're talking about origin of, of, of the man and the origin of the woman. So, if somebody says I'm an you lost the chance. No, 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 Tell, 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 tell. About the three. What is your name? No, no, stay here. Stay here. No, that's fine. You want to go there? Someone quiet. Let's go somewhere. No problem. He wouldn't offer nothing. He guarantees. He guarantees. Anybody who forgives, that means you are a child of God. But anybody who reacts, that means you are a child of God. Hey!